agradarle a la gente que no lo quiere a uno. It's a lot harder than I expected. The heavens have opened up, it's raining. That is still my fingers. Leg is completely crammed up. Dark hill descent. Hi Charlie. Yes, can't wait to take off his hiking boots. Good morning from Guatemala City. Just ordering our Uber to take us to Chabad Antigua. And from there we'll head towards our volcano climb. Yesterday we took a 10 minute taxi ride from the airport into Miami. And today we're taking an hour and a half. And both of them are costing $30. That's the difference between America and Guatemala. Now later we've just arrived at Chabad Antigua. Antigua is a small little old-fashioned cobble-streeted um, village and from here our volcano tour climb will start. This has to be in my top three coolest Chabad houses. What a vibe it has. It's amazing what you've done. Okay. What? Yeah. I'm from Manchester. Okay. This is the shawl in the Chabad house. The ceiling comes from wood from Spain. The lamp behind me is from Morocco. This cupboard's here from Germany. Pretty much have the whole world just in this little shawl. Having some breakfast here in Chabad before we do some serious climbing. Six hours, good luck. <laughs> okay. About to leave Chabad. My rucksack is very, very heavy. I'm looking forward for it to be a bit lighter. Before we start the climb, just renting some sticks, some extra thermal clothes, and we're ready to start climbing this volcano. It's 11:20, and we are just heading out. It's supposed to take five, six hours. Let's see what time we get to the top. I'm ready out of breath. <laughs> Ari, should we go back? Definitely. Okay, let's end it here. There. Sorry, guys, the vlog ends here. Let's go get massages. Bye. What do you have with you? Show us the. What's it for? You're going to kill me? Okay, I'm standing back. <laughs> Not going to lie, it's a lot harder than I expected. It's so steep and it doesn't change. It's just like this for five hours now. This is rough. It's rough. It's rough. Just think of the reward at the top. Looking at a live volcano, let's do this. First break, we have one porter, so I'm sharing the backpack with my cousin. So we're gonna do it half half, but it's rough. Our bag is like 15 kilos, five liters of water. Yankee, how are you finding this? You know what I Finding it tough. He's well ahead of me. He's like, like he's waiting here for like half an hour and then I turn up. He's, he's a real deal. Getting some firewood for our fire later on. Oh. If not for these breaks, the impossible. Hey, 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 hey. Are you knighting me? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So the mountain we're climbing is a Catanango. And from the top of a Catanango, which is 3,500 meters, we'll be able to see a volcano. But we have a long, long way until then. You know, these sticks make a huge difference. In the beginning, I wasn't using it, but now I can't manage without it. With such a view, I should be walking backwards. Wow. Absolutely insane. Underrated country, Guatemala. Here's our porters. For them, it's just another day in the office. Alex, Alex, do you find yeah. this hard? Is it easy for you? For up? Yeah. No, it's a bit hard. Yeah. Just saw a sign saying Entrada. It better not be the entrance. It better be further than that. The first bit's more like a desert, and now we're going through like a rainforest. Hey, it's Rolly. It's Rolly's beast in it, with 15 killers on his back. 15 of our rummies killers on his back. <laughs> Just reached the halfway mark. I don't think I can make this. I'm thinking of going back. I'm joking, of course I'm not going back. Of course, you're mad, you're crazy. This has to be one of the highest shops in the world. Let's see how expensive it is. It's probably cheaper than most places in New York. This tour is completely arranged by Chabad. They give you food, 
lunch, supper, no, breakfast tomorrow morning. I'm just gonna have a salad. I don't wanna have something too heavy because it'll be hard to walk on. Here we have some rice as well. Definitely good, some carbs. Give us a bit more energy. I haven't slept for two nights. I haven't slept since Friday night and now it's Monday lunchtime. Don't normally eat chocolate, but chocolate gives you a lot of energy. So it's gonna be a one-off. The dogs know exactly where to hang out by the lunch spot to get loads of leftover food. The heavens have opened up, it's raining. It's even hailing now. There's a storm, I'm not sure if it's the thunder or it's a volcano. Oh, it's actually quite refreshing. Don't mind it for a minute. Not the best time to have your zipper not working. This is rough, people. We are literally in the middle of the clouds now. Five minutes left of the incline. Oh, I couldn't do a second longer. Absolutely gruelling. We've finished the climb now. We're at three and a half thousand meters. It's freezing. I'm wet. But at least we're not climbing anymore. It's so cold. Warm me up by this fire. Can't barely feel my fingers. Five hours later. We made it to the campsite. I can't do another meter. My entire leg is completely cramped up. This is our campsite. We're staying in these little shelters. Uh, yeah, better than a tent, I guess. I'm lost for words. My appreciation for this cabin here. I just changed into dry clothes. Warm me up a bit. Yankee, Yankee, wait for the camera, wait for the camera. Yankee, put some Oh yeah, camera. oh yeah! Most tours, they sleep in tents, and with the wind and rain, I do not want to be doing that. So important to stretch afterwards, because otherwise we're waking up, dancing, with cramps. At this point, I wasn't even sure if I'd be able to see the volcano because of the really bad conditions until all of a sudden the clouds cleared up and I saw the most amazing sight of my life, a volcano erupting. Because it was dark, I couldn't get amazing footage, but this is what I got. Wow. Getting our rations of soup. <laughs> Wow. wow, marshmallows on top of the volcano. Baruch Hashem, tonight has been absolutely amazing. The rain cleared up and we got an amazing view of the volcano erupting. I didn't get such good footage on the GoPro. But I'm hopefully got some stuff on my phone to show you guys. This morning it was 30 degrees. Now it's probably in the minuses already. Wearing four layers, sleeping bag, blankets, it's freezing. And now it's time for me to get some sleep. It's Monday night, I haven't slept more than four hours since Friday night. I'm shattered beyond shattered. Good night everyone from my cabin. Good morning here from, from top of a Katanengo. Baruch Hashem, I slept like a baby, slept eight hours pretty much consistently. You slept hey, eight hours? I slept for eight hours. Wow. And, and here we are, sunrise by the volcano. Yee! Happy birthday to Shrilly. Guys, living ready? Happy birthday to Shrilly. Happy birthday, Shrilly. How old are you? Oh, oh wow. Um, no, so, this is where we spent the whole last night by the fire. Oh. We were there for maybe five hours with music, watching the eruptions. Wow, wow. We can see the eruption oh. there. Wow. You can see all the volcanic ash flying out there. Pretty, pretty active right. this morning. The volcano is called Fiego because in Spanish, Fiego means fire, which I'm sure you can work out yourself why it's an appropriate name. Avi, Yo. How, does, how does this make you feel? I feel really feel nice connected, and warm bro? inside and I wish I was closer there so it would be warmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our rations have arrived and we've got some hot chocolate. Yes, get in. Good morning, no Abigo. No wow, wow, hot chocolate. Thank you so much. Oh, boss. Okay. You guys rule. You guys rule. <laughs> Avi, when was the last time you put Tefillin on? I honestly have no idea. Probably. I don't remember. Probably Good. sprinkling from Chabad, like, uh, um, throughout the years. Oh, well. 
but that's it. But here's the moment you're putting on here on top of the mountain. Kalakavad, Kalakavad. I've seen many cool things around the world, but a volcano erupting like this, this is a first. Wow, wow. About to head down, enjoying our final volcano eruption. Leaving the campsite now and heading down. Three hours to get to the bottom. Starting our descent, going down. Three hours. Yeah, it's a very different challenge going down. Uh, a lot of leg control. And yeah, we're about to go through the clouds, as you can see. No more seeing the volcano. The million dollar question, will I recommend this to the viewers? Unless you really enjoy climbing and you have some sort of fitness and you are ready to persevere, you're ready for a big challenge, don't bother because it's really, really rough. It can rain like it did yesterday, which makes it even harder, but it's so rewarding to get to the top and watching a live volcano only a few hundred meters away. You could only really appreciate the view on the way down because on the way up you've always got your back to it. But wow, wow, wow. This is beautiful. We just finished the flat bit going down the mountain. Now it's completely straight down, 45 degrees for the next few hours. My legs are going to be hurting afterwards. Here we are by the lunch break. From this point up took us over two hours and to get from the top to here took an hour. Oh, I love going down. We have around 50-40% left. Going through the rainforest area now. Nice and shaded. The air's becoming better. Thicker air. Breathe better. It's lovely. This horse is climbing this. Wow, wow, wow. Doesn't look too happy about it. Hi, Charlie. How are you? How are you finding it? Yeah, yeah. You're not in the mood for the interview? Okay, fine. Fine, we'll leave it. What we're missing here? What we're missing? Dude, we're missing monkeys. We're like in this crazy forest. It's like jungle vibe, Costa Rica, you know, but we need there's the monkeys. no monkeys. There's no monkeys. We big problem, monkeys. big problem. I think we could almost say we've done it. Here it says the exit. Just have to walk down now to the car park to go get a ride back to Chabad. If you wouldn't register with Chabad, you'd have to register here. If you come yourself, at this point here, you register in that office there, write down all the information, and then you go up. Final few hundred meters. Bit of traffic getting down these steps. Here we are at the bottom, first bit of civilization. We've got a cafe, restaurant here, maybe get a drink or something. Wow, it's a good feeling. Wow, wow. Wow, our first drink besides water. Lachan, Powade, Lachan, Lachan. Hola, amigo. Hola. Hello, hello. Have a good day. Wow, very easy, very easy. Wow, this guy is ripped. The last five steps, oh yeah. We've Way! done it. Well done boys, well done, well done. Way! Yes. Shalom, shalom. Yes, can't wait to take off his hiking boots. Hello, hello. 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 Have a good day. Helped us a lot. Oh, so thank, you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You've been amazing. Back in Kabad, quickly gonna have lunch because we need to get to the airport. Got a flight in a few hours. But this could be our last meal for the next two days, so let's eat up. Getting our taxi back to the hotel where we've got late checkout, well, a bit late now anyway, but we can have a shower, back to the airport. This is our Uber executive, what a joke. Got back to the hotel, had a shower, changed clothes, we're packed up and we're heading to the airport. Checkout was at one o'clock, it's 3.30 now. Hopefully they won't cause us problems. The plan was to see Guatemala City on Sunday, but because our flight messed up, we didn't manage. So we're gonna go to one place on the way to the airport. But yeah, that means we'll have to come back to Guatemala to see more. Amigo, what's your name? What's your name? Brian. Brian, Brian. Brian's the top driver. He's going to show us a bit of Guatemala, and then he's going to take us to the airport. I'm Manchester United. Which team do you support? Manchester City. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> this is not okay. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> Behind me is Tor de Reformador, which is, looks like the Eiffel Tower if the budget was like a thousand quid. But yeah, it's quite a sweet thing. It's going over the road. And then, yeah, we've seen Guatemala City. Really, what's your opinion on the fake Eiffel Tower? I feel like if we come all the way to Guatemala, we expect something a bit more original. Like just copying Europe, which is a bit pathetic. And if you're going to say it's a Spanish place, then why is a French landmark? And here we are in the airport. Mm, always a sad place to go. Well, when you're leaving. La Oro Airport. It literally feels like a tourist market. All these shops. But it's a very clever place to have these things because that's where the tourists are, you've got to buy a souvenir, place to go. Perfect. 
a good businessman here. No, I don't, I don't want that. I, I, come on, come on. Is it? It's good money. We have 55. I think we're getting somewhere. Uh, th this opener. This, this one and a cap. 55. Is all we have left. All our money. We're bargaining our last bit of money. 55 pesos. We need a cap and we need a bit opener. Quetzales. Quetzales. That's what it's called. It's not pesos. It's quetzales. And we have a good bargain. Thank you. Thank you, amigo. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. And until next time, goodbye.